Finally someone with a strong enough voice to cover Queen and do Mr. Mercury justice. He doesn't sound like copying, laboring at it, or even trying hard. Vocal versatility at its best. Never did I think it was possible for anyone to perform this in its entirety. Queen didn't even do that. This guy has exponentially more talent than 99% of major artists today. Literally. Being a singer and pianist myself, I do know how hard it is to sing this piece and play piano along. Was, his holy. voice is so close to it really is yeah. close. but it's not even just the voice it's his, his looks. mannerism his mm -hmm. looks yep yeah um his stage presence the way he even yes. does a, mm. <laughs> although i guess that's not that hard to do but oh no you still have to i just do, did it you can't i know <laughs> see it doesn't look like <laughs> turned away from it all like a blind man really good really cool very cool thank you guys so much for the request on that one it, it, it's just again it's just uncanny it's uncanny how close he is so thank you really, so really uh, it's so so like it is uncanny because people said that he didn't do that intentionally he was singing like with his group or whatever he's doing he was doing his music and people would tell him like hey has anybody told you you sound exactly like Freddie Mercury. And then he just ran with it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like this whole thing's going up. And it's just like, it, it is it is amazing. And it, again, you're right. It's not just the, the vote, it's the mannerisms. Yes. Even when he went back and did that, like it's yeah. very clear he's studied. Yeah. He's studied him at this point in time and he's got the mannerisms down. It's yeah. just, it is uncanny. It is just uncanny. <laughs> That wow. was wonderful. I mean, that was amazing. Yeah, he's doing a good job. He has a wonderful voice. Yeah, he like, does. It, it's, re it's really pretty. It's and he can hit those high notes. Oh. Uh, mm hmm. This is not an easy song in my book <laughs> to, for anyone to sing. Not only because of Dolly Parton, but because of Whitney Houston, too. It's just such an iconic song. And I don't think I mentioned this before. I think I've heard of the person who's singing this. Oh, really? I think I have. Do you know what else he sings? I have no clue, but his, it look, he, I'm looking at his profile picture. It looks familiar. It looks like I listen to it a lot. Because I do listen to... A lot of YouTube videos of people like um, singing songs. I, well, maybe it's he's singing another cover or something. He has a yeah. lot of subscribers to his YouTube yes. channel, so it's a possibility that you. Know. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? This song is time. It has an actual special part in my heart. Okay. You know why? You tell me. Sivo. Ah. Uh, Character camp. <laughs> Really? This was our song oh, <laughs> that we had geez. to do a skit to. Oh <laughs> my god! It was horrible. <laughs> lip, like a lip sync battle. Uh, Wasn't it lip sync battle? Yeah, so it was the every time. So every time I hear this song, yeah, I always just really, think about I mean, Character Camp 2009. College of the Ozarks. Wow. Yes. Taking us back. Yeah. Um, so he... Yep. Yes. So, I even listened to it recently, so yeah. I'm going to say this and people are going to come for me. He kind of sounds like him. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, he sounds amazing. It sounds mm -hmm. great. Yeah. He's got a great voice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thoughts? Huh? Of great. How much how much he really does sound like... like it's, it's weird because when I think of covers, a lot of times people do covers and they change it up a bit, right? To try to emulate and, and because your voice sounds so much like that person and be able to emulate not just their vocals, but the personality, the, the way that he's playing the piano and the key, like the way that his mouth moves, like all of those, those things are what's so incredible about him. And I didn't even know that he existed. I didn't even know that he existed until last week. So really, really cool here. Thank you guys so much for the request. In the back of my mind, I, I've really never thought thought of Queen as a rock band and maybe that's just me being stupid I don't know but I find Queen has such a unique sound that they're almost in their own category but as I listen to Mark sing this and I clearly hear the solo line I realize how rock it really is like when he says so you think it's really like sigh I think like everything is kind of shaped 
towards that ah vowel. And it's really kind of in your face, almost as if you were eating an apple or biting into an apple. Sigh, you think? Ah, ah, ah. Showing the front teeth, which if you've seen the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, they talk about the front teeth. And I feel like I've studied this in music history or something where Freddie Mercury had these big front teeth and that is what shaped his sound. That's what kind of made the sound Freddie Mercury-ish was that he had these two big front teeth. Mark doesn't quite have that, but I feel like he has a similar mouth shape to Freddie Mercury and he can modify I, 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 I am completely speechless. Like, I don't know. This is, that's insanity. Like I've never heard anyone who sounds so much like another singer, especially like Freddie Mercury, who was one of the best singers ever. And this is crazy. He sounds so like Freddie. The timbre. I mean, this is something you can't, you can't, like, you were born with it, right? You can't make this up, but then pair this with, okay, first of all, he plays a piano like a god. Second of all, um, he looks good too. <laughs> um, and third of all, the phrasing and the musicality and the even his vibrato, I mean, kind of everyone kind of has their vibrato, their natural vibrato. You can affect it somehow, you know, somewhat. You can make it a little faster, a little more wide or a little slower. He just copies it to the T. Wow. Composed by Freddie Mercury. Man, I, geez, I haven't heard any other covers, really. I've heard a couple covers of some other Queen songs, but man, that was really good. I see why it has a lot of views. I see why Queen fans would like that and recommend that. And I mean, I got two things out of that. He definitely sounded a lot like Freddie, which was crazy. If I uh, wasn't looking at the screen right off the bat, I would have thought I was watching a Queen concert for a second. And two, that is such a good, good song can't believe how good of a song that is i'm gonna have to go back and watch the queen version of this song but uh yeah that was awesome i absolutely love that if you guys know anybody else that does any covers that are great of anything queen related please let me know and i'm definitely gonna check out some more queen stuff too i know i haven't seen that much stuff yet but wow. one going in, okay yeah he nailed it okay but while he puff while he's singing that i wanted him to like carry that uh, Freddie Mercury mustache okay that will be cool okay but he did so great job okay that that was sounding so similar okay and it's I'm impressed by his skills okay sounding so the technical way. okay but when Freddie Mercury sings the Bohemian Rhapsody he was not too technical about it okay i mean in the song he was totally technical but when he performed that song okay when he when we when we when he always performed that song he was enjoying that okay he was adding another ad lips he was getting somewhere high somewhere low he was like changing changing like his vocals he was he was sounding differently okay but he was he for him he was uh, he is totally technically into this okay he's technically sounding the same like a recorded version this guy makes you think freddy is in the room utterly astonishing talent and as others say this guy knocks it out of the park compared to that wannabe adam lambert it takes more than a bit of mascara to recreate what Freddie could do. I was completely blown away with you guys. Absolutely amazing. Great voice, great band members, and most certainly a great tribute to the amazing Freddie Mercury. I really hope you guys come back. T's impressive to hear their voices and see their faces so similar to two myths, taking nothing away from the others who sound exemplary. Dot. I have to say Mark you knocked it out of the park. Not gonna lie, it did put some tears in my eyes listening to this.